G8, uh, a different situation going into this Saturday's game with Yeovil. I just have you feeling about, about stepping in going into tomorrow's match? Well, first of all, Adam, I never thought I'd be sitting here. Um, as you know, I came out of retirement, come back to Barnet to put a bigger thing in place, a bigger strategy for the overall performance of the club. But here we are talking about preparing for a game uh, against Yeovil. Not the first time that I've been in this position, been in position with Barnet before, been in position with other clubs before. So it's uh, something that I think is, a, is an honour uh, to, to prepare a team and uh, it's, it's gone okay this week. Um, understandable that the club's taking some real careful time to pick the next manager. It's a real crucial appointment, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, it's imperative the club do the right thing here. And uh, I know that they're taking the time over it. I know there's been a lot of interest in the role because it, it's a big job, a, a big job for the club. And it, it's important that they get it right. And uh, yeah, I'm helping as much as I can by filling in so that we've got that time so that when the appointment is made, it is the right appointment for the club. Preparation-wise, it's, it's going to be different moving from, from Paul to yourself. How have the boys been in training and, and what's the mindset going into tomorrow? Uh, well, we've got, we've got a mindset that we're going there to do our very, very best. That's always been the case. Um, when Paul was here the last couple of weeks, it was very different to Tim. Um, and I've been a little bit different to Paul. But we, we, what we're trying to do here is carry that little bit of uh, forward movement and momentum that we had in the, the Stockport game, the Bromley game. Okay, we've come a little bit unstuck uh, in the last home game, but yeah, it, it's been good. Preparation's been good. It must be quite a proud moment for you to, to be in the dugout tomorrow with a club that you, you have an affinity with, albeit in, in the different circumstances to what you originally came in for. Yeah, it's, um, yeah I, I've had a lot of help this week. I've had a lot of help from outside. People I know in the game have been giving me advice and guidance. Um, two senior players in Anthony Wordsworth and Liam Daly have stepped up and helped me on the training pitch. We, we've taken it quite easy this week in terms of volume and intensity because the players have worked really hard the last couple of weeks. And um, yeah, we wanted to go into this game as best prepared we can be. Is there an update from the, from the treatment room? We've had a couple of knocks, I guess, in the recent weeks which is expected with the level of games at the moment yeah with the number of games we've played and we we've got players that are you know, feeling a little bit richard taylor has had to go back to south end uh, just uh, before his loan period is up due to an injury and uh, we're working with south end to get him some care and the best best treatment possible but he won't be around tomorrow um ben and williams is carrying a bit of a knock um, and we're looking also at Courtney. Uh, he's he, he's got he's got a knock. We'll see tomorrow whether he's uh, he's fit enough to take uh, some part in the game. Anthony Wordsworth's been out for the last couple of weeks. I mentioned there yeah, that he's taken a sort of a, a senior role with yes. him this week. Is there a chance he could be back tomorrow? Yeah, he's been training this week. Um, well, he, he certainly won't be starting the game tomorrow, but he, he will be in and around. Um, but he's, he's not quite there yet, but he, I think he'll be in a position to give us as much help as he can, uh, be it from the sideline and be it maybe playing a, a part in the game at some, at some stage. How do you want the boys to approach tomorrow because it, it looks like they've taken quite a bit of confidence from playing their stuff from the back and they've played some really neat stuff in the last, particularly two of the last three games, let's say. Is that a similar approach you want tomorrow? Yeah, we, we, we've had, there's been a player meeting this week without staff. They wanted to get some things sorted between themselves, which they've done. And I think that was essential. I think it was essential that they got together because, you know, let's be honest, Adam, it, it's been pretty poor some of the times this year. In fact, it's not been that good some of the time. Um, so the players wanted to take a little bit of responsibility in it. They had their own uh, meeting. The staff were invited into that towards the end and I was pleased with what I heard. And you, know, I, I've always said to them that I, I want them to play with a free reign. I want them to be able to pass the ball, take care with that ball. But there are occasions where they might have to play the long pass. They might have to put the ball out of play. Uh, but they've got to take responsibility for that and make those own decisions. What I will say to you, every single one of those players knows that they have a responsibility. That is without doubt. They know that they've not stepped up this year and they want to put it right. Um, but I, you know, I, I listen with my ears, but I want to watch with my eyes and I want to see Everything they're telling me, I want to see them put that in practice tomorrow. How important is it that we, we leave everything out there on the pitch? It's, it's a tough game against Young tomorrow. Always strong at Hewish Park. I'm sure they, they won't underestimate 
I, friend of I, Paul's. I know for a fact that Darren, the manager, won't underestimate us. Um, even though he saw us a few weeks ago here when they played us, he knows that we're probably going to be a very different team tomorrow. He also knows that you know, we probably didn't put up as good a show as what we could the last time. They, they certainly won't underestimate us. They're a very, very good side, Adam. Don't, for, for, they, they should be up there challenging. We know the players they've got there and they've got some exceptional players. We're in for a really tough time. But I've given the players individual targets. As you know, we, I'm a big believer in GPS units, that we monitor players, that we know how hard they run, how fast they run, the distance they run. Each player is going to be given a target that they have to achieve tomorrow in terms of distance covered. That will make sure that they work hard enough. If they work hard enough, try their best. The result will be what it is, okay? but at least we will be competitive. Just lastly, the fans will be watching on. How important is it we do everything we can and show them how proud we are to represent the badge and make them proud of the team that they see tomorrow? You know my association with Barnet and uh, all the other jobs I've done around the world and with other clubs around. The first result I always look for was Barnet because this club were really, really good to me back in the 90s and I owe it to the club that we, we put on a show. I, I want to make sure that the fans in this season have got something to, to look at and think, you know what, those guys are trying. They're honest, we're trying. It's really difficult for everybody this year. This year. No one's been allowed in the grounds to watch the games. Fans have paid good money uh, to part, buy tickets and watch streams, and, but it ain't the same. It really isn't. And us playing in front of empty stadiums, that, that's, that's no fun. But, and we want fans back. I want the fans to look at Barnet tomorrow and think, do you know what, whatever the outcome, whatever the result, they tried. And if we do that, I think that's, yeah, we're on the right track then. We know that these players, some of them are playing for their future. They've got to show that. They've got to show the passion that they, they want to be at the club or if they, they want to get a move somewhere, they've got to show what they're capable of. And the only people that can do that is themselves. And they know that. And that's been heavily emphasized this week. I want the team to go out there tomorrow, be honest, try their very, very best and try and get a result for the supporters.